Hey, Great Wallers, I'm Mike. And I'm Ben of the Great Walls Token Lao Wai. Now, most of you have probably been to a Chinese buffet before. I know you and I have. But I'm going to tell you right now that many of you have been going about it the wrong way. Now, you might be asking, how can I eat at a buffet incorrectly? Because if your goal is to just have a filling meal, then save that 20 or 30 bucks and go buy yourself an extra value meal somewhere else. That's right. But if you're going to shell out 20 or $30 on a nice Chinese buffet, your goal should be to feel that at the end of the meal, you definitely got your money's worth. Absolutely, Ben. So remember, when you walk into a Chinese buffet, it's battle time. It's you against the buffet. But don't worry, people, we are here to help you. We will provide you with 10 tactics that will help you the next time you go to a Chinese buffet. Number one, scout the buffet. So you've been starving yourself all day and probably drooling as you walked in the door, but you have to do some reconnaissance first. A lot of Chinese buffets have multiple rows of food and you wanna check it all out so you can have a good game plan as you make your first trip. Number two, skip the salads. Remember this, salads are decoys from the real food because salads are considered the rip-off part of the buffet. And if you're with a group of Asians and you come back to the table with a plate of salad, you're gonna get some looks like, are you crazy? Did you not see the seafood and the crabs? Number three, focus on the seafood and the crab's legs. If you've been to a Chinese buffet already, you've probably seen the tables of Chinese people with mountains of crab's leg shells on their table. Don't judge, learn from them, because they know what they're doing. Have you seen crab's legs at the supermarket? They're like $12 a pound. These are groups that the Chinese buffet owners fear when they walk in the door, and you won't find salad on any of their plates. Number four, do not come back to the table with fried rice or lo mein noodles. I mean, I get it, fried rice and lo mein, they're good. That's because they're basically stomach expanders that are soaked in stomach stuffing oils. There is a reason why at Chinese weddings, rice and noodles are served at the end of the meal. If you start with these dishes, then I'm afraid the battle is already lost. Number five, don't eat any dish with broccoli. But I like broccoli. No, I'm gonna give it to you straight, guys. Any Chinese dish with broccoli in it is not a real Chinese dish. Broccoli is not something that's used in traditional Chinese cooking. Plus, broccoli is one of those vegetables that has a lot of mass and will take up a lot of unnecessary room in your stomach. Number six, stay away from the General Show's chicken. Yes, it's probably the most popular Chinese dish. And if General Sho was a real person, he and the Colonel probably got together to see who can come up with the most tasty yet unhealthy chicken dishes. Not only is this dish oily and fills you up super quick, it's also fried in the notorious dark oil, which is oil in a restaurant that has not been changed in months or sometimes even longer than that. And if I just ruined that dish for some of you, you're welcome. Number seven, drink tea, not soda. Good Chinese tea has a lot of health benefits, and it comes in small cups, and it's hot, so you can't just suck it down like you would a soda. Also, please don't walk into a buffet, any buffet, and order a diet soda, unless, of course, you actually like the taste of diet. But don't do it because you think that one diet soda will offset the mountain of calories you will be ingesting during the meal. Number eight, eat for the fun of it. The Chinese always say, Chijawar eat for fun because eating is like an enjoyable fun activity for many Chinese. So when you're stuffed, go and get some more crabs and chijawar. Number nine, put down that egg drop soup. Now I have a lot of La Wai friends who love egg drop soup. Tell me you didn't pay $20 for a buffet and fill yourself up on chicken broth, eggs, and a ton of salt. Number 10, if it doesn't have meat in it, leave it alone because vegetables are cheap. All right, guys, I got one final tip for you, and this is a secret, so don't tell anybody. This is just between you and me. All right, a lot of Chinese buffet, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them, what they do is they don't throw out all of the food at the end of the day. They pick out a lot of the meats from the dishes and re-stir fry that the next day. And a lot of times, the fried rice you're having the next day for lunch at the Chinese buffet was yesterday's steamed rice. And of course, the salads, all the cold stuff, they keep as well. So never go to a Chinese buffet early in the day. Well, I think I might have made that mistake a few times. <laughs> I think a lot of us have, but now you know. But don't so, tell anybody. So guys, uh, make sure you comment below and tell us about your experiences or your tactics in dealing with Chinese buffets or any other buffet for that matter. And don't forget to check out my channel. If you speak Chinese, it's called La Wai Kan Zhong Guo. And I give you a rundown of uh, current affairs and funny stuff going on in mainland China and Taiwan in Chinese. 
Absolutely. And guys, we'll keep the discussion going on Facebook. So check out our Facebook page as well. Again, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the button below and we'll see you again next time.